Hi there guys, this is Leah from Happy Ham Ham. In today's video, I'm just going to show you guys how it is that I tame my robo hamsters. Now in this video, you're going to be seeing Coco, um, or Coco Pop, sorry, and Rice Krispy. Um, really, this is just going to show you guys the best technique that I have found. There are other techniques that I will leave in the description below. Try them all out and see what one best suits yourself and your hamster. So guys, before you use the bath bonding technique, make sure that the bathtub is clean. In the video here, you can actually see me just using hot water. Um, I would also recommend a pet safe cleaner. Now, obviously guys, before you put your hamsters into the bathtub, make sure it is actually dry. The reason for that is because obviously you don't want a wet bathtub. It wouldn't be comfortable for yourself or the hamster. Um, so as you can see here, I'm just drying it off with a towel. Once the bathtub has been dried, what you want to do is line the bathtub with a blanket. I would recommend one that you personally use, just so it has your scent on it. This will provide comfort for yourself, and if the hamster does jump out your hand, it means they're landing on something soft. Once you're happy with the way the bathtub's lined, it's time to get the hamsters. So guys, you don't want to stress your hamster too much, so what I would recommend doing is, rather than using your hands if this is our first bath bonding session, either pick them up using a cup, or maybe even lift them up using their wheel if they're running on it. Do so gently though, you don't want to scare them too much. You will also want to provide your hamsters with a wheel so that they can run on, so that it burns off stress, because this is a stressful experience for them, and you will want to provide them with one of their hidey houses as well. So guys, before you actually put the hamsters into the bathtub, especially with robos, make sure that you are in the bathtub and are sitting comfortably. The reason for this is so that they have a chance to run all over you without you being fidgety. Um, also, if you put the hamsters in beforehand, they are very quick. They run very quickly. You don't want to stand on them or accidentally sit on them. That would be very, very unpleasant for the hamster as well as yourself. So guys, Coco is not used to being handled as much as rice is. So what I've done is I've picked Coco up using her wheel and I will very gently pick up rice. Once you've got all of the items outside of the box or whatever it is you're using to carry the hamsters and items with, you just want to set the box outside. You want to put it somewhere close to you just in case you need to separate the hamsters and do separate taming sessions. That one there is entirely up to yourself. I prefer to tame both hamsters so that I know they're at an even level. Once you're actually in the bathtub with the hamsters and they're on their wheel or maybe they're hiding in their house, what I tend to do is I actually put my hand underneath the wheel or at the entrance to the house. This just basically means that if the hamster wants to come off the wheel or wants to go on the wheel, they have to walk over your hand in order to do so. Now, this just basically kind of reassures them that your hand is a safe surface for them to run on and to play on. Another trick for your hamsters is if you're wanting them to come onto your hand, maybe provide them with a treat, maybe sit your treat on top of your hand. It just so happens that my hamsters are not at all interested in food unless they are hungry. So, and they've always got food stored away in their pouches or in their house. So it doesn't tend to work for me and these hamsters, but that doesn't mean to say it's not going to work for your hamsters. After a while, guys, what will happen is your hamster will start to come towards you. It might start running up your arm. As you can see here, Coco really likes sitting on top of my head and running on me. That's just perfectly fine. You want them to become used to you and used to being near you. Um, one thing that I will say, though, guys, is make sure that the hamster does not climb on top of you and go out onto the top of the bathtub. That's happened to me a couple of times with Coco. Coco is an amazing skate artist, like seriously. So just watch yourself when you're doing this technique. So guys, this has been my step-by-step -step video on taming. Now I did add some extra things in there, such as cleaning and things like that. The reason for that is because I wanted to show you guys how important it actually is to make sure that you're in a clean environment when you're doing the taming session. You don't want your hamsters to be picking up any diseases or anything like that, or any bacteria that could potentially cause harm. Um, now as far as taming actually goes, um, Rice and Coco have been doing this for about a week now, maybe uh, about a week I would say. And Rice, I'm hoping we'll be able to show you. There we go. As you can see, Rice is already pretty much there as far as taming goes. She's quite content <laughs> um, with the taming. Coco, on the other hand, is still needing a little bit of um, encouragement. Um, 
some people will use treats and things like that with their hamsters, that's not a problem. It just so happens that these guys are not at all interested in treats, which is surprising. Um, maybe I've just not found their, their favourite. Yeah, I've tried fruits, I have tried mealworms, I have tried very sh bad stuff for you to have a night. And you're just not at all interested. Ooh. Now, <laughs> um, hopefully I'll be able to get Coco to come onto my arm so she can see her. One thing as well, guys, you don't want to do is, is rush your hamster because let them come to you because you don't want to frighten them or scare them off or anything like that. This just so happens to be the technique that I prefer to use. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, there are other techniques as well that I will in fact be linking in the description below for you guys to check out. Um, try different techniques because just because this one works for me and my hamsters doesn't mean to say it's going to work for yourself and your particular hamster. Um, as far as taming Roboroski's go, it really just depends on their personality as well. Um, Rice has got quite a calm, bold personality where she's quite happy to come to you and things like that. Well, as Coco's the opposite. She She's quite a timid little thing. Um, she'll come to you if, if she wants and things like that, but most of the time she's just keep to herself. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah guys, that has been our taming video. Um, if this gives you any help or advice then that's great. Um, if you're new to owning Robos then please let me see your little ham hams because I'm pretty sure that they're gorgeous and I will want to steal them. <laughs> um, yeah, isn't that right? Isn't that right? <laughs> so yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.